Okay. Assalamu alaikum. I am here. I'm going to talk about the index. This index, what is the material you, you chose them for it? Condensation silicon. Condensation silicon or sea silicon. It is not very accurate, but it's enough for our purpose today. How are you going to cut it as a in preparation index? You're going to prepare today the premolar first. Oh. How are you going to cut it? With a blade? Oh. With a blade. I've seen people cutting them with bears, but a blade is more clean cut, okay? So, if you're going to cut it vertically on the premolar, have you extended this more than the premolar? No. The index, this is the preparation you're going to do, but you have extended the index here. This will stabilize it because you're going to cut here, so no. this is where you're cutting the index. So you can't stabilize it here. You can use the anterior piece or the posterior piece. Depends on your vision. Okay? If you're going to use the anterior teeth, uh, anterior half of the index, you have to look from this side, indirect vision. Okay? Then I also you could could you cut it in another way? You can cut it horizontally if you like. Or you can do another index where you cut it horizontally, you can get your lingual and buccal reductions. Okay? So two ways to cut it. Usually we in our in our clinics we first begin with the half cut. Then you can cut it horizontally if you want to look more at the tooth preparation here alone and this alone. Okay, so you can cut it horizontally. Okay, then uh, uh, my question for you was this index here. This is an abutment. Your index here ended exactly on the abutment. I asked you, do you have more posterior tooth? You told me no. So this index will be a bit tricky. Why? Because I don't have anything to support it here. And I'm going to cut it in half. And this tooth will be prepared. It will come smaller. So what will stabilize my index? It might, it might tilt, صح? So I might do, for the posterior, do another index where I'm, I'm leaning on all of these teeth and working on this tooth alone. The second way to make it more stable is that I lean on the soft tissue here and here with the attached gingiva. When I lean, I, these soft tissue will act as a stopper. So when this tooth is smaller, the index will be stable. So either I have enough soft tissue here and enough soft tissue here leaning on it, so the index will not go in and sink. Because if I have prepared this smaller, what will happen with the index? If I don't have enough support, it will go down. I think, I must, I think myself, I did not prepare enough. What happened, actually, it just simply sinked. But so, if I'm going to do a posterior preparation, I don't have more posterior teeth to support my index, I need to use the anterior half. If I'm using the anterior half, this, if I'm using the anterior half, suppose that this is our index, and I cut here, I will not be seeing from anterior, I need to use indirect vision. Why do I use the anterior? Because it's more stable. Okay, another final thing, why did you make it thick not in a sectional tray? For the preparation index, it's better to make it thick, not in a sectional tray. In a sectional tray, it will become thin. Okay, you made it thick because thickness will add in its stability. It will not distort. If I make it in a, in a, in a uh, sectional tray and I squeeze it, it will become thin. I need to take it out of the tray and use it as an index. It will become very thin and it will keep warping. So it will distort and I will not see correctly. So I need the thickness. I need more anterior teeth away from what I'm preparing. More anterior and more posterior. If I don't have this option, I'm going to use another index for the posterior tooth alone. Okay? Thank you.